Item number, SCP-549, Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-549 is to be kept at all times in its terrarium. The terrarium was created after previous containment proved to be insufficient. The containment plexiglass is to be checked for fractures every day at 0600 and 1800 hours. Any signs of stress or wear are to be reported immediately to one of SCP-549's handlers. The terrarium is to be kept filled with miniature foliage and ground cover, resembling that of northwestern North America. Fabrication Company is to be used for repairs on the terrarium's interior. A stream has been engineered to run through the terrarium, the water of which must be changed daily, using only filtered spring water. The terrarium is to be kept within a 15 meter by 15 meter room, placed on a stable support platform, capable of holding up to two metric tons, in the event that SCP-549 begins to throw its weight around. The containment room should be lit in accordance with the day-night cycle, and climate controlled in accordance with conditions in northwestern Canada. During summer and autumn months, SCP-549 requires upwards of 70,000 to 80,000 calories per day in preparation for its hibernation period. Because of SCP-549's special situation, it is inefficient to provide the nutrition in the traditional means. It simply takes SCP-549 too long to consume that much material. Currently, its diet is provided in the form of salmon fillets, which have passed through thus dramatically increasing the caloric content of the fish. In winter and early spring, SCP-549 requires little or no care, though monitoring should continue as per usual. Personnel assigned to SCP-549 must take all care not to disturb its den by any means. As a result of Incident 54972, the mauling of Assistant Researcher by SCP-549, all personnel assigned to SCP-549 are required to watch security footage of Incident 54972 as part of their orientation. Description SCP-549 appears to be a miniature version of Ursus Arctos Horribilis, or Grizzly Bear. In stature, it is approximately 17 centimeters in length when standing on its hind legs. However, SCP-549 has a mass in line with an average adult grizzly bear, in summer, around 305 kilograms. It consumes as much food as a full-sized grizzly would and is able to exert all the same force with its claws and bite. This presents a number of problems, since its strength is concentrated over a much smaller area. Several of SCP-549's first enclosures were destroyed because it exerted far more force than expected of so small a creature. The walls of its current enclosure, treated with data expunged, have proven more able to resist any attempts to escape, though as long as it is fed regularly and not provoked, it seems content to remain in the terrarium. SCP-549 was recovered in Canada, along with several other miniature animals. Though agents on site were unable to determine the cause of death for the others, SCP-549's dietary requirements suggest they may have died from starvation. Professor theorized that SCP-549 only survived because it was in its hibernation state at the time when data expunged. Subject had a cholera fixed similar to the other data expunged, with the etched designation Ursa Minor. Dr. Wondertainment's Micro-Menagerie. Several personnel were harmed in trying to remove the subject from data expunged, mostly because of its great weight and strength. How SCP-549 seems to be of the same mass as a normal bear, but occupying a smaller space, is currently unknown. Dr. believes that it may involve a warping of space-time, rather than true shrinking. How physical laws have been circumvented is unknown, but tests are currently being formulated. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-548, Ice Spider, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.